Hey guys, my name is Jail Rabalo and I am a fourth year BLB student at Govind Ramnath Kali College of Law, Margao, Goa. This video is a part of the series Legal Bites, an initiative by the Legal Aid Society of our college. Today, I'd like to share a little information on the right to a decent burial or cremation as a fundamental right. Now, just a couple of days ago, we all probably might have come across these really shocking and disturbing visuals on social media, on the print media, on television of hundreds of corpses or dead bodies of suspected COVID positive patients floating along the banks of River Ganga and River Yamuna, which are considered to be the holiest rivers in the Hindu religion. Now, this particular incident it raises a very serious question on the right to a decent burial or cremation. Uh, now, you know, we generally relate rights to a living person, but uh, we do need to realize that rights also extend beyond the life or of an individual. That is, a deceased person or a dead man enjoys or has certain rights, and one such right is the right to a decent burial or cremation. Uh, very recently, the Honorable Madras High Court has affirmed that uh, the right to a decent burial or cremation comes within the ambit of Article 21 of the Indian Constitution. Now, talking about Article 21, Article 21 of the Indian Constitution, it deals with the right to life and personal liberty. Now, this Article 21, the right uh, is a very, it is a very dynamic right. I say so because there have been a number of judicial pronouncements, you know, that have increased or I would say enhanced the scope or ambit of Article 21. And today we have right to health, right to a safe and clean environment, right to education, uh, coming under the under Article 21. Now to quote a Supreme Court decision that is Premanand Qatar versus Union of India. In this case, the Supreme Court has observed that right to dignity isn't just available to a living man, but it is also available to the body of a dead man. Now, apart from the judiciary, we also have various international human rights treaties and conventions that have made a mention of this particular right and have also reaffirmed it. Uh, now, before concluding, I would also want to say that, you know, I would want to add that uh, this issue or this incident, it isn't just a social legal issue, but it also has this environmental dimension of aspect to it. We definitely know that, you know, this would definitely take a toll on the marine life and it would affect the marine ecosystem. On that note, uh, I wish to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this was informative and stay safe.